All right, so this is for all my teen survival people. We're going to talk about frustration tolerance today. This is Red Girl, and Red Girl's in for rehoming, so just keep that in mind when you think how fabulous she is. Good girl. And we're about to let the chickens out, and she's a bird dog, and this is really, really, really hard for her. So what we're going to work on is the idea that she will be allowed to go closer to the birds if she behaves. So anytime she loses it, and she will, um, then she'll be asked to back up. Uh, you'll want to take note that I don't talk to her much unless she's choosing the right thing. So for those of you who played It's Your Choice with treats, yes, get it. This is exactly the same thing, only with chickens. All right, let's go. So because we live on a farm, thank you, good girl. The, the reward is to be allowed to get closer, right? But gates are important. She's starting to recognize that when we're near a gate, we have to back up and park ourselves. And she may lose her mind in a minute, in which case the gate gets closed. And she wants to get closer to the birds. Thank you. And she has to wait for me. Good girl. Good. And I will praise good choices, but only the best choices get me to go closer to the birds. Good. Close that. Yes. And same thing. Oops, I caught up on that. There. So the hard part here is making sure that I have just enough leash that I can get in there and open that coop. But I grab my pants because I don't want this to happen when I let a bird out. Thank you. Good girl. And she's learning really, really quickly that being still and backing up is how you get me to open that door which is, if she gets adopted by someone in the hunting world, is going to be very valuable. Hi. Thank you. Just adjust that. Thank you. Good. So she took a step towards. I might just, if I can use a little pinky pressure. Good girl. And right now, the reward for good behavior is me opening the door. Good. She must maintain her position. Good. And now I'm going to walk away and turn around. That was lovely. She didn't yell or scream or anything. Good. And that rooster is going to be very cautious about bringing his ladies out with her there. Because last time, it was a bit of a nightmare. Good. Now, she's a little too intense, so I'm going to be backing up. Thank you. Good. Good girl. Good. It's a very, very, very hard thing to do. But again, if she ends up being a field dog, she has to be able to be steady to wing and shot. People think that the thing with gun dogs is they have to be good. Thank you. Good girl. Now, because she backed up, I let her go forward. Because she surged forward, I made her back up again. Now that the snow is gone, you can see all the stuff I need to pick up around the hen yard. Thank you. Excuse you. Good. Okay, go sniff. And so she's going to be allowed to go have a good old sniff of the coop, which she thinks is very exciting. Good. And I'm going to call her away. Head girl. Oh, Leave her mind. Good. Good girl. And I'm gonna offer a treat just to see if she's interested. Yes, thank you. Good girl. There's that lovely center point. I'll let you go a little closer, and then we gotta go do the ducks. Good. The ducks are, are her particular favorite. Thank you. Good girl. Now, be careful if you're doing this with your own home flock. You have to have a rooster that trusts you to protect the girls. He's a very nice rooster. I don't know if that means he's useless. And he has shown no inclination to go after our dogs. Good. He's young yet. Good. And I'm going to turn and walk away and see if we can get that. Good girl. Uh, excuse you. You're in my way. Thank you. Right, girl. Oh, that was hard. Yeah, that was hard. Nope. Thank you. Good girl. So I don't in any way trust her with the birds. 
but we're starting to have a contract. She wants the birds and I want her to behave and I will allow her to look at birds and focus on birds as long as when I ask, she comes away. All right, good girl, let's go. And that's it for that one.